most of you guys probably know that uh, the channel Hickok 45, um, one of the one of the best, one of the one of the most prominent and most successful YouTube channels, the gun channels on YouTube. I have been subscribed to Hickok for years and years, and I think that he's always, I've always enjoyed his videos. I think he is a great ambassador uh, and just has a great message and, and it and just brings a lot of credibility uh, to the whole gun channel, um, I guess, um, group, which I'm not part of that, but I, I watch, I subscribe to a lot of them. Well, yesterday, or the day before yesterday, uh, his channel was pulled off of YouTube and just gone. Now this is, he's not a channel, a small channel. He's coming up on 2 million subscribers. I mean, you're talking about, it's easy to throw those numbers around. That's a serious player on YouTube. I mean, that's in the top 1%. How, there's not very many channels. You hear a lot about PewDiePie and these guys, but there's not very many channels that hit a million subscribers. It's a tremendous accomplishment. And he's done this by having great content and just being a great ambassador for the whole gun community. Well. I don't know all the circumstances, um, some sort of a policy violation or, or whatever, but being a creator myself, that makes me very uneasy. Because if they can take a guy um, like Hickok uh, and just strip away his account, it's just gone. Just overnight, all of the years and years of toil and work is just gone. I'll tell you what, if I owned a gun channel, if I was making my living off a gun channel right now, I would not be sleeping easy. Because I don't know what it was, if it was a mis I don't think it's a mistake. Because there are, I mean, most people don't know that YouTube and Google, I mean, it's a very left-leaning um, organization. And I, 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 that's fine. I could, that, that's just fine. And they provide a great platform and they have been very generous to me and to many of you out there who make videos that may have opposing views. Uh, with that being said then, though, it seems I have seen many examples of of um, channels that may have an ideology that are uh, diametrically opposed to, to what they believe just disappear. And I may, some of them have come back, some of them have not come back, but it's, it's, it's terrifying. I have on many occasions been down um, to the YouTube headquarters. Uh, I've been uh, in Seattle and down in San Francisco and talked with the people that are making policy and, and essentially running YouTube and they uh, are very much, they want to know, well, you know, what is it you, is there anything that we can do different with the platform or what is it that you like or what you don't like? And I've been very candid to them about the fact I said, I don't feel safe here. There's no place else to go. There's no place else where we can go and upload our videos and, and have this type of exposure and reach the, this, this amount of people. I know that there's Vimeo and there's some other things going on in Facebook video, but nothing compares. There is, it's essentially, there's only, it's the only game in town. But it's terrifying to think that because the way that their user agreements are, are they're so nebulous and they're so they're so broad that they leave themselves they, they can be interpreted so many ways. And I never feel like I really know if I'm going to be violating a policy. I, I'm I, it wouldn't surprise me at any moment if I wake up and everything that I've done on the channel is gone. And I don't like that. I don't like having all of my eggs in one basket. I don't want to leave YouTube. I'm very grateful to YouTube for what they, the format and, and for everyone who comes and watches the videos. And I, I love YouTube. I think it's one of the most wonderful things, a wonderful way to get information, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it. So I'm reaching out to you guys because of this reason. I don't have a strong background in web design. Um, I don't know what the best, well, here's what I would like to do. And I would really like to reach out to any of you who are, I want to deal with, 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 with people that are really good at this. Um, I don't, and I want to, is there a way? I know there's a way. I just don't know how to do it. Here's what I want to do. I want to have a website, wranglerstar.com, right? And on that website, I want to be very clean, very simple. I don't want, um, um, uh, template websites. I don't want all that stuff. I just want a simple, easy to use website, banner on the top, and a way to search videos where I can, we can have all of the Wrangler Star videos there by category. Timber framing, you can click on that. You can watch them. You can watch them chronologically or by title or whatever. Uh, we can do um, vehicle maintenance or, or Mrs. Wrangler Star's videos, canning prepping. But, you know, let's say we have 12, 18 categories on the home page where you can simply search it. You can go there and watch those videos that we host on a site that's completely ourselves, that's completely our own. 
what I'd like to do is I'd like to have this site. Um, if someone can help me to build it or point me in the right direction, if I were to build something like this, I would have to take a month off and just to learn and educate myself on all of these things. And, and I don't want to do that. My, my job is to create content. It's not to be a web, web developer. I'm just, I'm, I'm not that guy. But I know that there's some of you out there that have offered to help in the past. And if you do, if you're good at this and you have expertise and you kind of know what I'm talking about and you can help me with this, uh, I'm reaching out to you and I would um, greatly appreciate that help. What I'd like to do on the website is I'd like to pre-release videos, um, let's say 24 hours early, 48 hours early, whatever it is. We'll, we can all discuss that. And so you can go there and you can see them first. And of course, everything will be uploaded to YouTube um, a, as normal. I know there's a lot of third-party sites out there that are offering the same thing, whether it be Vessel or it be um, Patreon or, or those type of things. But what those companies are doing is, is they're just essentially just skimming off the top. They're just taking a percentage, which is ultimately going to cost everyone more money for the convenience of using that. And maybe that is the best way. I don't know. Uh, but it seems to me that it would be a better way just to keep it in-house. We can just go to wranglerstar.com. You can go over there. You can watch the videos there first. And, you know, let's say we charge a dollar a dollar a year or $10 a year or something. And you can be a member of this and, and we'll have original content there. And let's just, I can just keep it in-house. I don't need to go to one of these third-party sites. I just don't see where it's necessary. Because I am, I'm uncomfortable with having all of that, those resources, all of those videos on that one platform. It makes me very nervous. And I think that anyone who is not thinking about diversifying, who's a full-time creator, uh, needs to give it some thought. So uh, please step up if you have the abilities and the time uh, that you could help me put this together. I would uh, be greatly appreciated and I would be willing to, to exchange labor for labor, whatever, however that looked. Um, so... I'm going to share one story with you because it, it, it's the reason, one of the reasons why, among thousands, uh, why I think it's so important that these videos, these 1,200, 1,300 videos that I've created don't just go away. And it's not just for me because I want them up there. Or, or it, it's, I'll tell you a story. I think, it sums, I think the thing speaks for itself. It's been some time ago, but I received a letter from a, a, a young man uh, that was a combat veteran that had recently gotten out of the military, had seen multiple tours of, of uh, duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. And when he got back to the States, he was, he was having a lot of trouble. He was really suffering with depression. He was really suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, had lost his family, had broken up, and, and was really struggling, was really, had seen some horrible things and was having a hard time dealing with it. He wrote in his letter that it was 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, I don't recall. He had made the decision to commit suicide. And he was, his final act, he was logging onto YouTube. He wanted to watch a knife sharpening video so he could be sure to make sure that the knife that he was about to use to slash his wrists and commit suicide was good and sharp. Somehow, through divine intervention, through God's mercy, he came upon one of, uh, one of my videos. I don't recall which one it was and started watching and stayed up all night watching Wrangler Star movies or videos. And by the time he had, had, had got done watching, he said he just felt, felt completely changed and that he had felt that a big relief that had come over him and healing, he'd received some sort of healing. And, and I'm, I'm not saying this, that I have some miraculous power uh, that I made some difference in this guy's life. What I'm saying is that God is using this channel to reach out to people. And it's not just his story, it's a lot of other stories that are true private or I've, people have asked that I don't share with you that are, uh, that are not unlike that. So this channel to me is very important because God has entrusted me and, and with this ministry and it's reaching people in ways that, that, that we can't all comprehend. I used to get, um, uh, I, am, uh, I wear my heart on my sleeve, I don't have a thick skin. I, it, it, I, I worry about what people think about me and, and I want to... I don't want to offend anyone. And so when your channel reaches a certain status, you start to attract all sorts of people. And so a lot of people, if you have any sort of a Christian con content in your video, um, is offensive to them and they'll come on and they'll try whatever they can to disrupt that. And I used to try to, I mean, my instinctively I wanted to retaliate when I would receive those. And I had in the past, unfortunately, uh, been very sarcastic and responded in, in, in likeness and meanness to them. 
And God spoke to me and when I was really struggling with this and said, you know what, you don't need to do that. Don't worry about these people. You know what, these people that are, that are coming and disrupting the channel, do you notice that they're, they're doing it on every video? And what, what, what really spoke to me about that, it was like they're watching. They've been trolling and, and saying these comments for years on these videos. And I know that they're watching the videos because many of the comments about the religious content came at the very end. So it wasn't like they were just logging on like some people do and, and just well, to thumbs down or, or to try to troll the channel by not watching. They're actually watching it. And God is telling me that I, I'm, I can reach these people. These people, their hearts are softened. They're, they're getting a lesson and they don't even know it. They think that they're disrupting. They think that they are they are uh, going to overcome or defeat the channel or cause it to quit. But it is, it is through this channel I'm using this to, to soften their, these hard hearts. So it's important to me. And this is kind of some of the reason why. So that's it. So if you can help, please contact me. Um, um, and I would really, really appreciate that because I, I, um, I really don't know where to begin on it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.